What's up, O-Doers, and welcome back. Every day comes with a list of things that need to get done, and that's why we use to-do lists to stay organized and on track. In Odoo, activities work like to-do lists, but for each record inside of your database. They let you plan future tasks, track progress, and see what's been done all right inside of the chatter section. You can even assign activities to your teammates to make sure everyone's on the same page. And by scheduling activities, you keep every record moving forward and your business running smoothly. Now let's jump into Odoo and see how easy it is to schedule activities. Because activities are integrated across Odoo apps, you can view them directly on each record. The icons next to these priority stars here indicate what's happening with your activities. So for example, here in the new stage, we have our quote for 12 tables. This green activities icon means that there's an upcoming task. On the other hand, an orange icon indicates that there's an activity due today, while a red one shows that there's an overdue activity. If you see a gray clock icon, that just means that there's no activities planned for that record. Each icon also indicates the type of activity, such as a phone being a phone call, a envelope being an email, and so on. Now let's go ahead and click on the icon next to the priority stars here for our quote for 12 tables. When we click that icon, a small pop-up appears showing the activities that are currently scheduled for that opportunity as well as their due dates. From here, we can mark the activity done, edit it, or even cancel it altogether here on the right. And of course, we have the ability to schedule new activities directly from this window here as well. Now, what if I wanna see more details about my activities? In that case, I can open up my activities dashboard by clicking this clock icon here on the top right of our screen. This menu acts as my running to-do list and the number next to the clock indicates how many activities are due today or past due. And for a deeper look, we can scroll down on this menu and click this view all activities button. And that'll take us directly to our my activities dashboard. And by default, this is shown in a list view where I can see all my assigned activities as well as their due dates. I even have the ability to sort these by clicking the top of a column, for example, this due date column, and Odoo will automatically rearrange the activities. And in true to-do list fashion, I can also schedule tasks directly on this dashboard. All I would need to do is click this new button on our top left corner. And if I prefer a more visual layout, I can also switch to our Kanban view. In addition to that, to narrow things down, I can also click down on the down arrow on our search bar, and this will give us the ability to group or filter our activities. Currently in our filter section, we have overdue and today as the active filters, so we're only seeing activities that are either due today or already due. And uh-oh, if we look down here, it looks like we're behind on sending an email. No problem, we'll take care of that right now, and we'll just click directly into this 5VP chairs card. And if we scroll down to our chatter section, it looks like we're behind on sending an email. More specifically, we need to send an updated product catalog. And yep, I was supposed to send this two days ago. So to fix that, I'm just going to click this send message button at the top of our chatter, and I'll paste my message in. And when I click send, this will send directly to Azure Interior. Awesome, that was easy. Next, all I have to do is click this Mark Done button beneath the activity. And Odoo gives us the option to leave feedback, or we can simply click Done and Schedule Next, or even just Done. I'll pick Done and Schedule Next. And this is so we could plan our next step right away. And since I created this activity, it is automatically assigned to me. But of course, I can reassign it if needed. So for the next activity type, I'm going to choose a call. And it's also worth noting that Odoo allows you to create custom activity types. We'll see that later in the video. Moving on here in the summary field, I'm just going to quickly paste in my note, which will be discuss your options with client. Then I'm going to set the due date to tomorrow or one day from now. I could also add a note or schedule the call directly on my calendar, but for now, we're just going to click save. And right away, you'll see the activity appear here in our chatter. And if I ever need to make any changes, I can always use this pencil or edit button to edit this activity or even cancel it altogether. And if I wanna schedule another activity, all I have to do is click this activity button once again at the top of our chatter and start again. 
All right, before we wrap things up, let's quickly go over how to create a custom activity type here in Odoo. While Odoo comes packed with tools to run your business, not every company works the same way, so you might want to create a few activity types that fit your own workflow. So we're going to start by jumping into the settings application, and we're just going to scroll down to our discuss section. Here we're going to find our activities option as well as a button for our activity types, and we're just going to click on that. When we do, it'll take us to a page where we can view and manage all of our existing activity types. And to create a new one, we're just going to click new in the top left corner. So here at Stealthy Wood, our sales team likes to perform what we call a discovery call. It's usually the first conversation we have with a new customer, and that's so we can fully understand their needs and know how we can help. So we're gonna name this activity, discovery call. Next, here in the activity sections, we're gonna open up our action drop down menu, and we're going to select phone call as the type. So the dashboard visibility is currently set to own activities, which means only the assigned user can see it. Since we value transparency here at Stealthy Wood, we're gonna change this to all activities. And that's so everybody in the database can view it, no matter who's assigned to it. And if we wanted this activity to be assigned to a specific person, we can update the default user section here but we're just gonna leave it blank so that the default user field will be assigned to whoever created this activity. The model field below defines which records the activity type can be used with. Because this one's for our sales team, in the drop down menu, we're just going to select sales team. We can also set a default summary right here, and we'll just put this as first outreach call. And we can also choose which icon we want to go with this activity. So I'm just gonna put FA phone. There's also a decoration type option down below which adds background color to this activity, but that's optional. So we're just gonna leave this blank for now. Next, we can also set a default schedule. And since this is the first step of our sales process, we're gonna keep this at zero days, meaning it should be done immediately. And then down below, we have a default note field, and we're just going to type in log all disco call notes. Finally, we can configure what happens next using the chaining type. Currently, this is set to suggest next activity, but we're going to update this to trigger next activity. Below that, in the trigger field, we're going to select email. So our discovery call will trigger a new email activity once it's completed. We also have a section where we can attach an email template and we're going to attach our introduction email template. So once the discovery call is marked as done, Odoo automatically creates this email activity. Now, if we click back on our activity types breadcrumb, we can see our new discovery call activity has been added to the list, ready for our sales team to use. And there you have it. We just saw how easy it is to complete an activity and schedule a new one straight from the chatter all in just a few clicks. Remember, even though we use the CRM app today, you can do this from any record in Odoo that has a chatter. Odoo's activities feature keeps all your tasks organized, shows exactly what's due, and helps you stay focused without the mental clutter. Check out our other Odoo tutorials to explore more tools that can boost your workflow and productivity. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.